I'm convinced that the guys in ties over at Warner Brothers, I, I'm convinced that they sit in a conference room and they be like, well, Scott, why make billions when we can make millions? I'm saying that because of the recent Batman Beyond news that we got, which is just shocking. So first things first, it's no secret that Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse and Across the Spider-Verse were absolute bangers. These are very successful movies. People love them. Come to think of it, I don't even know too many animated superhero movies that actually play in theaters like live action movies do. As far as I know, Into the Spider-Verse, the Spider-Verse movies, those are the only ones that have played in theaters to my knowledge. I could be wrong, but I believe those are it. People love those movies. They were very successful and they made a lot of money. Apparently, the same people who brought us those movies wanted to tackle Batman Beyond. Terry McGinnis, futuristic, neo-Gotham, Batman Beyond. Look at the concept art. This is amazing. They got ink in this shit, man. It's beautiful. And it definitely works with this type of animation. And WB said no, rejected. Matter of fact, the writers who pitched the idea to Warner Brothers, they said before we pitched, they warned us there is absolutely no way we can do a Batman Beyond movie. But they loved our enthusiasm. What? We pitched the outline for the entire film and what started as a never turned into a maybe. If that's not the most passive aggressive thing I've ever heard in my entire life. Like I said, why make billions when we can make millions? This makes no sense to me. I don't understand this at all. People, fans, have been wanting a Batman Beyond movie since the early 2000s. This, the show is amazing. I freaking love Terry McGinnis and his world. And think about this. This show came out in the 90s and the animation and storyline still hold up to this day. But imagine all this in 2024 or 2025 with the new technology that we have that they didn't have back then, the crazy images and artwork and good writers, this movie would go so freaking hard. Have y'all been reading this? Have y'all been reading Terry's stuff? Have y'all been reading? No, no, no. Have y'all been reading Terry's new stuff? Look at the artwork. Look at this. This is beautiful. Look at Gotham. Oh, Y'all don't even know. Terry has a brand new suit now and it's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love Batman Beyond. I can't, I can't believe this. What I find idiotic is WB will give us everything but what we asked for. They'll give us shit like this. Creature Commandos, something no one asked for. Most fans don't even know what this is. The few who do know don't care about it. But stuff that we do want, the stuff that we would definitely pay money to see, the stuff that we would go to the theaters and pay to see and watch and stuff and, and be excited about, they, they reject that. No one asked for the authority. No, not a single person as for these characters, they're basically the Watchmen. We've already seen Watchmen. What we wanted was the Snyderverse. What we got was Batman being rebooted for the 97th time and only for it to be an Elseworlds story. It's not even a part of any main continuity. They dead ass give us everything except for what we asked for. And then with a straight face, wonder why their movies do so poorly at the box office. We wanted a Batman Beyond video game set in the Arkham universe. And what we got instead was Destiny 2 in the Arkham universe. They got rid of Henry Cavill as Superman, only to hire someone who looks just like him and again, reboot the series instead of finishing what they started back in 2013. You rejected a Batman Beyond movie? Oh, why? Because Crisis on Infinite Earths is so good? Man, please. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. I'm done with my rant. Let me know what you guys think. I've said my piece. I want to hear what you guys think. Me, personally, I, I, I think that the fans need to rally together and just cancel WB. Let somebody else take control. But let me know what y'all think.